Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode here at Wildman Lives. I'm your host, Wildman. On today's episode, we're going to continue to do 5x5 five five in giant set format. Today's strength focus is going to be the back squat. So I've designed the whole program for it today. It's a nice, beautiful day, so let's get to it. Now, all of these exercises that I'm going to do, you should find all of the equipment you need in a commercial gym with just a limited amount of space. A squat rack, a barbell, caliber plates, and even a box, kettlebell, or dumbbell. Now I'm gonna be doing my five repetitions, working up to my heavy sets. I'm gonna be doing these kettlebell swings in between to build that explosive momentum I need to squat. And I'm also gonna be doing these weighted step ups. This is gonna work my quads and prime my muscles to squat heavy as the load gets heavier. So I'm gonna be doing these exercises in between my strength sets. So every time you see me going up in weight, you can count on the fact that I'm doing my kettlebell swings and I'm doing my weighted step ups in between. And you can see, it doesn't take that much space. You know, in a commercial gym, it can get crowded pretty quick. And it's nice when you can just kind of set up in one spot and hit everything you need within a very small amount of space. And that's what these iron sets are designed to do. Now, this is my top set. So it's gonna be the first set of five times five. I'm gonna do this for five sets, five repetitions at 335 pounds. And you'll notice I'm doing this without a belt, without knee sleeves, without elbow protection, and without wrist wraps. This is a very big milestone for me. I can remember when 315 pounds for one repetition was my max. And that was with the belt, knee sleeves, elbow supports, and wrist supports. The fact that I'm able to do five sets, five repetitions at this weight now with 335 pounds shows my progression. It also shows that doing exercises in between my strength sets, such as the kettlebell swing and the weighted step up, dramatically improves my lifts over time and also builds my work capacity. So when doing five times five, I just did 335 pounds for five sets, five repetitions. So now if I'm gonna go on to week two, all I would do is add 2.5 pounds on each side, and that would be five pounds total. Then when I get to week three, I would add five pounds on each side. Again, just adding five pounds every single week as I did in my other videos. It's easier if you just start with the weight you're gonna start with on week one and just add the weights that I've been showing you on every video in such manner. It's just easier to track your weeks and the weight if you do it in this manner. So there you have it. We just finished our five times five in strength giant set format. And I must say, I can recall when 315 pounds back squat was a PR for me. And I did that with a belt, with knee sleeves, with elbow support and with wrist support. So to do 335 pounds for 25 repetitions total, without any equipment on, I'm very pleased with that. And it also demonstrates that my programming is working. Now, although that was a lot of work, I'm going to do a variation giant sets. Let's get to it. Now, like I said before, you could just do five times five strength or five times strength in giant set and you have gotten a pretty good workout. But if your work capacity is high, then these are an excellent variation lift, the front squat. And this is going to work your interior chain, which is your abdominals and your quads, and get you a nice good pump. I'm still going to continue to do my kettlebell swings in between these repetitions. I'm only doing three rounds. And I'm also going to do my weighted step ups, but I've raised that box another two inches just to get some more range of motion. Okay, so we just finished the variation giant set. Now we're going to move on to three rounds in giant set format of three assistant exercises that will continue to help my anterior chain and will focus more on my quads and my abs. The first exercise we're going to do is called the walking lunge. Walking lunges are great for targeting your quads and getting blood to them so that they may grow. They're also great to teach your body to move in a forward projectile pattern 
which is comes in handy when you're trying to push a tire or push or pull a sled. Ab mat sit-ups is the next exercise because the ab mat, as you can see on my back, gives me extra range of motion when I'm doing my sit-ups. And for the last exercise, I'm going to be doing this bike erg. Now, this is an old school bike erg, and this is one of the best bikes I've ever had the pleasure of using. And I'm mainly doing this for my knee strength. I'm concentrating mostly on these repetitions to make sure that I'm getting a lot of blood flow to my knees. Woo! Those three rounds were very tough. Now we're on to our very last giant set, which is and the accessory portion. And the first exercise that we're going to do are these rope supinated curls. These target the supination muscles, which are very important for stabilizing and for gripping. These are what I like to call hitchhikers. These help your rotator cuffs stay nice and strong and balanced. So when you're lifting the heavy weights, you can reduce the likelihood of getting a rotator or shoulder injury. And flutter kicks. These are good for targeting your abs, mainly the lower part. And it makes sure that your abs are nice and tired by the time you're done doing your workout. So there you have it, a full training session. That is usually a typical training day for me unless I'm a little tired, a little beat up. Um, it all really depends on what's going on, how much time I have, because life gets busy, as we all know. I'm sure your lives are just as busy, and it's hard to find time to do the things you love, especially when it takes time to do the things you love. But I really appreciate you joining and seeing how five times five can be used in giant set format. Um, I'm hoping that you're taking notes and adopting this for yourself so you can go to the gym and you can have a plan. The giant set format that I did for five times five, all of that stuff can be found in the gym. You should be able to find dumbbells or kettlebells, some type of bench or box, uh, a squat rack and barbells is all you really need. And you're going to be able to get a great workout uh, within three feet of the space that you're occupying in the gym, because sometimes those gyms get a little crowded. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.